in this class we will be discussing one more topic of electromagnetics which is nothing but properties of vectors vectors have two properties here commutative and associative we will see each one by one let's take commutative property now let's say that a vector plus b vector is equal to b vector plus a vector this property is called as commutative properties of vector now let's understand this with an example for example if i have an a vector given by i cap plus j cap plus k cap another b vector given by let's say 2 i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap now if i calculate the lhs and rhs let's see what happen in lhs i have to add a plus b so it should be i cap 1 i cap plus 2 i cap which comes out to be nothing but 3i a plus b so 1 plus 1 which comes out to be 2j cap then 1 plus 2 which comes out to be 3k cap let's calculate the rhs part which should be equal so it is nothing but b plus a so this is b plus a so 2 plus 1 which comes out to be 3 One plus one, which comes out to be two, and two plus one, which comes out to be three. Now you can see that LHS is equal to RHS. So actually, we have proved a plus b vector is equal to b plus a vector. Now, so this is all about commutative properties. Let's move on to the associative properties and let's try to understand. Let's say that associative property says. a vector plus b vector plus c vector is equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector let's understand this by an example assume a vector is equal to we'll take the same vectors a and b i cap plus j cap plus k cap b vector equal to 2i plus j plus 2k let's randomly take some c vector uh let's say 3i plus let's say 5j we didn't take an any negative signs here so let's take one negative sign here for example minus 6k let's try to calculate the lhs and rhs in lhs i should add b plus c first and then with a so let's do b plus c part now when i add b plus c vector you know that right we have to add i plus i j plus j and k plus k now when i add b plus c it will be 2 plus 3 which comes out to be 5 so let's calculate plus b plus c let me write it down a part first so it would be i cap plus j cap plus k cap plus now we have to calculate b plus c b plus c will be nothing but 2 plus 3 would comes to be 5 so it would be 5i plus 1 plus 1 plus 5 which comes out to be 
6j and then 2 it should be plus so that it is minus 2 minus 6 which comes out to be minus 4 so minus 4 k cap now again I have to add it up so 1 plus 5 which comes out to be 6 i j 1j plus 6j which comes out to be 7j 1k minus 4k which comes out to be minus 3k this is all about my LHS let's calculate the RHS part RHS part I'm gonna calculate here itself because these two quantities should be equal so I'm just assuming I know that LHS should be equal to RHS. Let's calculate here. So first I have to add B plus C. So let's do B plus C. B plus C would be nothing but 1 plus 2 which comes out to be 3i. 3 1 plus 1 which comes out to be 2. 2. And 1 plus 2 which comes out to be 3. Now I have to add with C vector. So this is nothing but my A plus B vector which I have calculated. The C vector would be, let me write it down. C vector would be 3i cap plus 5j minus 6k. Let's summarize this. Again, I have to add. So, i plus i would be 3 i plus 3 i which comes out to be 6 i and then 2 j plus 5 j which comes out to be 7 j and 3 minus 6 which comes out to be minus 3 k. So, we have proved a vector plus B plus C vector is equal to A plus B vector plus C vector.